What's up everyone, it's DV. I've got a new video for you to show you what you should grind for. Some items are really, really easy to grind for, but aren't really worth buying. Like some of these items are just overpriced. So for example, the vending machine is just a really overpriced item. You could just make them. They're actually easier to make them than buy them. Unless you have infinite budget, there's not a lot of you that actually watch me that have infinite budgets. There are some of you that have billions of coins and you just rather buy everything. So this video is not so much for you as it is for someone that, you know, has a little bit more of a tight budget and just wants to know, is it worth buying a vending machine or is it worth buying a smelter or just grinding for one and so on. So I'm going to cover that in this video. Before I begin, be sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start with the anvil. So the anvil here, you can see we got the iron axe, we got iron pickaxe, we got iron war axe, all these kind of stuff. These all, all these tools and weapons, right? They're all in one place. So these I would just go and make. I wouldn't even bother buying these. Iron war axe, on the other hand, it does require three crystallized iron. I would just buy this because it is actually really, really cheap for you to buy these. It isn't worth grinding for because it is three crystallized iron. I mean, if you were to, if you were to get three crystallized iron, I would recommend just selling these because <laughs> they're only worth about 300,000, 350 tops. I went and buy these for 500,000 or 400,000. But the crystallized iron that you're going to have, you have three of these, right? You could actually sell crystallized iron, three of them for 600,000 minimum. That's baseline minimum, about 600,000 coins. On the high end, you can make about 900,000 coins off of three crystallized iron. So why would you actually use your crystallized iron to make something that's worth half of what you can get for the crystallized iron or less? So I would just buy this if you can. And then um, if you even want it, here's the thing. Before you even go and buy this or even deal with this one, I would recommend just go straight to the Aquamarine Sword or buy a, t a title spell book. But we're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to skip the steel rods because these are crafting pieces. The gilded steel axe and this gilded steel pickaxe, I would highly recommend buying. The gold itself is worth more than these items. The gold, you're going to need about 200 gold to be able to make one of these because you need 20 gold for each uh, gilded steel rod here. And gold actually goes for a really nice premium. I think it's about 8,000 a piece sometimes. Now, if gold drops in value, then at some point it's going to be worth just making these yourself. But because these are only worth about 900,000, I would recommend just go buy these. It's actually cheap enough to go buy them. And then you have the Aquamarine sword I was talking about earlier. It is 200 Aquamarine shards. You can actually grind this pretty easily. So if I were you, if you wanted to grind for your first weapon, I would just grind for an Aquamarine sword because it is the easiest one to get out of out of all weapons in the game. Pearls are actually really, really easy to get. You can get about two of these within, I think about 15, 20 minutes top. So you can get, you can easily get your pearls and then you can just go and sit there and farm for your Aquamarine shards. Aquamarine shards for 200, probably going to take you about an hour. So within about an hour and a half tops, you're going to have your your first, uh, you're going to have your first sword versus an iron war axe, which is actually does less damage than the aquamarine sword. And uh, and the value here, these are worth about, I, I see them going for about 400,000. So I would actually, I would say it's still worth just going this approach because it's still, again, going to be cheaper for you to just make these. Gilded steel hammer, I would skip altogether if you are poor. Otherwise, I just buy it. There's another one I would buy because buffalo core crystal, you got to grind that out. You got to grind a ton of gold. You know, you need about 140 gold here and you need gilded steel rods so i wouldn't really bother with uh, making this i would just buy it especially the buffalo core crystal part that's just a big pain in the butt to grind for and then spell book and title spell book um so these got duped heavily i would say title spell book is worth a lot more but the problem is it got duped heavily it's it's one of the best spell books in the game it's one of the best casting weapons in the game um i think it's the best weapon period this is my go-to i use this for everything the only thing i don't really use this for is if i wanted to stand there and knock back like buffalo core then i i, I wouldn't be able to use um, title, I would use Gilded Steel Hammer, but I could actually just sit here and I can kill anything with the title spell book. So I would say, because it's only worth about 400,000 now because it got duped heavily, I would say just go buy this and not worry about any other weapon in the game. If that's all you had was 400,000, just go buy a title spell book. In fact, a lot of people are giving these things away. If you go to the um, popular server list and go to the, you know, like the most popular islands, you can see here people are free, free titles come, you know, there's, it's very common. You're going to see a lot of title. You'll see a lot of titles inside these uh, server lists. So let's see. Hey, there's a DB shop. That's cool. And then you got the spell book itself. This one got duped a little bit less than the title. I would say actually it got duped a lot less because the title, I think the big dupes happened after the title came out. So I think people didn't really bother with uh, duping spell book as much. They're going for about 500,000 to a million, which is funny because title is still, it's, it's, it's basically better. It's better. I don't know. I would actually tell you, just go out and buy a title. Don't even worry about the spell book. But if you really wanted a spell book for your collection or something, I would just say go buy it. The Vampo as well, similar to title, it got duped heavily and I wouldn't even bother grinding for a Ruby Scorp Stinger because it takes about two to three hours to grind for one of these at, at most, obviously. But because these were duped heavily, I would recommend just to buy these. Um, the other piece, if you were to grind for any of these, so if you wanted to grind for the title spell book or the Vampo, you also need the blueprint to make these. These actually require secret blueprints. So if you don't have the secret blueprint, you can't make these. So just buy them. Don't, don't even bother grinding for these at this point. Unless you really, really want to grind for your own stuff, I would just buy these. Because again, they got duped heavily and they 
got ruined. They got ruined a big time. And then coming over here, I'm gonna just gonna go cover the potions real quick. I would say regen potions and strength potions just um, buy these. Um, you could grind for regen potions because you could just go to the wizard island and collect pretty much all these pretty easily. But if you don't really want to spend the time on it, it's only like 4K. So let's go over here to the workbench. Um, under here, we got conveyor belts. I would say steel rods, iron, anything for anything that, so pretty much anything that requires just iron or coal or wood. For the most part, I'm gonna tell you, just go grind it out because there's no reason for you to go and buy these, especially most of them are just overpriced. So like conveyor belts are going for about 6,000, whereas you could just go, you know, make these for free just with time. So all you need is a smelter or a campfire or a furnace and you can make these pretty cheaply. Um, same for industrial chest. Industrial chest does require medium chest. So medium chest does re also require wooden planks. So if we scroll down here, you can see it just requires 30 iron and some wood planks. So as long as you have a wood, you can make the wood planks using a sawmill and those are really cheap to make. So you only need 10 wood and 10 iron to make a sawmill. And so you could just make that yourself. So I would definitely just make the industrial chest yourself, including the medium chest. And just again, to remind you, if you have a ton of coin, don't bother grinding, just go buy your stuff. If you have billions of coins or tens of millions of coins or hundreds of millions of coins, I would actually say stop grinding and just go buy and trade because the trading market is going to save you a ton of time. Now the industrial oven is going to be worth grinding for. Most people try to overprice these. I don't know why, but they're always trying to get more than these are worth, but it's really easy to make these. You can make them probably in about 15 minutes. So you just need eight steel rods and three sticky gears. Um, that's really, really easy for you to grind. An industrial sawmill, similar scenario here as the industrial oven. The only difference is you need three blue stickies instead of greens. I would definitely grind for your own sawmill. Um, I wouldn't bother spending a, you know, I think people are trying to get like 500,000 for these. It's crazy, especially you could probably get these three uh, blue sticky gears in about 30, 40 minutes. I would say about 40 minutes. Industrial smelter, on the other hand, I would not bother grinding for. I would just buy it because it's really, really hard to find pink sticky gears. Um, you do need three of them. And the last time I grinded for a smelter, it took me forever because you do need to spawn pink slimes. And in order to get pink slimes, you need to kill a bunch of slimes and it just takes forever. And then, you know, there's not, there's not a guarantee that the pink slime is actually going to have a gear on it. So it's, it's really tough to grind these. It's going to take you probably about three hours to get your own industrial smelter. It takes about three hours. I may do a video sometime to see how many of these I can actually grind out within a day, but we'll see. But again, I would just say, go buy your smelters. Don't, don't grind for them. Industrial stone cutter. It only requires one buffalo core crystal. They are kind of hard to get. You do need to kill a lot of buffalo core to get one of these, but you know, I would say it's still worth it. I think it's going to, you know, it's going to take you about an hour to get a buffalo core crystal. So unless you're really, really lucky, again, everything's based on RNG, right? So you might get it first kill. I've gotten buffalo core crystals just walking up on an alt first kill. So it really depends. It really depends on you. But because I've done a lot of noob to pro videos, generally speaking, it's been about an hour consistently. For your washing station, just grind for these. They're really, they're kind of hard to find because no one really sells these. Industrial washing stations, on the other hand, I would say buy these because propellers are really, really hard to fish for. And you don't want to sit there fishing all day. It's going to take you hours to get one of these if you're not lucky. So I would just go buy one of these um, industrial washing stations because also buying the propeller itself, the propeller is almost worth as much as the industrial washing station. Just buy the industrial washing station from someone instead of trying to you know grind for this. Workbench tier three is a rite of passage. I would say grind for this because you do need to work on, because it, it is pretty easy to get. It just takes a little bit of time. You will need a stone cutter to make your stone brick though. And then vending machine, same thing. It takes about 40 to 45 minutes if you're a brand new account getting your first vending machine. And I've done this about four times, five times already where I just create a new account and I get the first thing I do is get my vending machine. So I would say about 45 minutes. I've never had it take longer than 45 minutes. So, and the reason why I say this is because if you're a brand new account, you're not going to have 250,000 to spend on your, your vending machine, right? And sometimes these even go for 300,000 and then you got to hunt someone down that actually is selling these because there's not a lot of vendors that are selling these. So that's even harder to find. So it's probably going to take you as long to find these and get the coins to, to buy these than it is just to make it yourself. So I would grind for this for yourself. I wouldn't even bother buying them unless you're rich. Unless you're rich, just buy, you know, a thousand of those if you can. <laughs> Crystallized gold is, is a bit of a pain to get, but if you're already grinding something else out, so maybe you're grinding for like um, maybe a gilded pickaxe or something else, or if you maybe you're already working on your vending machine, maybe you're trying to make a bunch of vending machines, then you might actually get enough crystallized gold to be able to make your own food processor. It does require three crystallized gold. It requires five sticky and some steel rods. Um, on the other hand, though, I would say this is just only, the, the price is pretty consistent for food processors. I would just, yeah, just go buy one. Anvil is still, same thing grind grind for grind for your anvil grind for your honey press i wouldn't even buy any of those um you only need really one or two of these i don't know why people you know unless you're really really pushing a lot of honey jars there's no real reason to have a bunch of these a lot of people just buy a bunch of them just for decoration purposes uh brewing stand definitely grind for your own um unless you can find a good deal on them um, it does require a ton of maple and maple is kind of expensive and it does take a long time to make but if you're going to do um, potions then again why do you need a brewing stand you'd got 
you got to ask yourself why do i need a brewing stand are you going to be making um, potions i would say i would say you should probably wait to see if they do anything else with brewing stands we'll see water catcher i would just go ahead and, and grind for they 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 usually go for between five thousand and ten thousand and i i would just say go grind for it because it's not worth the coins um i'm going to skip these because no one really uses these we're going to go straight to the basic sprinkler which is a very expensive in vendings people try to sell these for about two hundred thousand they're kind of hard to find as well so i would just grind these out so you only need one crystallized iron if you haven't watched my cry iron farm video definitely go check that out so this is definitely you know something you should watch because you can get these um, you can get about one of these per minute if you if you design your cry iron farm the way i did mine you can get about um i get about four to five cry iron in one single run and i've done this many times it still works and you've got the green sticky gear only two of them and some iron so these are overpriced definitely make your own and then stone cutter just make your own composter make your own um bait is really easy to make i would just make your own if you're gonna if you're gonna do a lot of fishing i don't I, I never use bait i wouldn't recommend even bothering with it unless you do a ton of fishing and then uh we already covered the medium chest the trellis i would just grind for you only need birch wood and some tall grass you've got tons of tall grass around your island and then um aquamarine shards are big pain in the butt i would recommend just buying these from people and then making whatever you need out of them so if you want to make aquamarine blocks or if you want to make um, brick stair aquamarines or anything like that i would i would just say go and um, buy these shards and then make these yourself bamboo blocks i would just make yourself um you can actually make a very easy bamboo farm on your island you can also check out my auto bamboo farm video that shows you how to auto bamboo and flowers and you can get about a thousand of these over a span of a couple hours or so dried bamboo same thing just dry your bamboo out using uh, a furnace and i'm going to skip these stairs the coal blocks i would say just buy a ton of coal and make these yourself same for iron just just buy a ton of um, iron and then make these yourself because most people don't like making these so they're a little bit harder to find but you can easily find iron and coal and then same for gold what i would actually recommend for gold blocks is um, buy gold ore and then smelt the gold yourself because that's the best way to get gold and lots of it so you can make these pretty Pretty cheaply uh, mushroom blocks most people aren't selling these you're gonna have to grind these yourself whether you want to or not most people do not sell mushrooms so you're gonna have to grind for these mossy stone bricks i would recommend just grinding because most people overprice these and there's not that many of them they're really great looking um, brick and block but the problem is most people don't make these so you're gonna need to buy the materials and make these yourself or just grind for them same thing for iron door i would just grind for some sticky gears you probably only need up to five of these anyway so if that's the case just you know get 150 iron and get uh, five green stickies and you can make the max number of iron doors you even need in your island most people only need one so even better um large display cases i would just make yourself because you can buy the uh, glass blocks from the vendor outside and then uh you just need some wood and that's that's just easy to grind for um i'm gonna skip these because these are all beginner items these are all just wood items i would just grind for those same for torches i wouldn't buy torches i would just make them because they're really cheap look it only needs two wood and one coal um same for firefly lanterns you can make this pretty much within the first maybe 10 minutes of the game all you need is uh some wood to make your net and you just need some stone and then the furnace i would just make yourself small chest make yourself just, these are all just wood requirements you need wood for pine door i just make it um honeycomb blocks i would make yourself it only requires four honeycombs and then honey blocks themselves um you do need a honey press to make these um i would recommend making these yourself because again everything's overpriced with honey right now um all the wood signs just make for yourself i'm not going to really get into the cooking tables these tables all these devices and stuff all these all these all this furniture and all these workbenches are easy enough for you to make yourself and then uh, you know of course you have some uh, game pass tables i'm going to say just make all these yourself these are assuming you have the game pass make them yourself otherwise you have no choice but to buy them if you want them so i hope this video helps you decide what you need to grind for versus just go straight up and buy from a vendor um some of these items like i said you know sometimes it's just really really hard to find from vendors it's hard to find people that are selling these and so if that's the case i would actually just go and just make them and then the, it's the other clue here is you could sell these items so i was going through some things like you know for example these swords if they're really easy for you to grind this might be an obvious thing that you can sell i hope this video was helpful to you if it was hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new and I will see you next time. Take it easy.